Hello, Cloud. It is me, Chudley. Oh, speaking of Lumpy made quite the emote that I'm sure you're going to see at some point on the stream. Maybe not, maybe not right now, but at some point you will. All right, welcome back to Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. This one's live. The previous one I did was pre-record, where I did all of the world stuff in Chapter 2. Apparently there's a patch on the way for performance mode, so I'm looking forward to that. And I'm hoping that it, um... It improves things. They're also fixing the shadows on the characters' faces so they don't look scary. But yeah, I did most of the things on the map, and um, it was weirdly satisfying to do. I don't see myself doing that for every area in the game. Unless I get really obsessive about the game. Like I did with the original back in the day. Cleansing materia. But, um, yeah, the side quests, I was actually surprised at how much I enjoyed the world. Also, it is, seriously, there are some really awkward moments with Cloud traversing the environment. You get used to it, but there are moments where I'm like, that looks so jank. Cloud is an awkward guy. He, he is, yeah, he's a little awkward. That's why we love him, though. You know who we love more than Cloud? That's right, Chadley. Hojo's greatest creation. So if you didn't catch part two, it was 99% side quests, but they talked about this mine. This is the Mithril Mine, and uh, Barrett was talking about he knows about some stuff because he worked in mines as well. And they talked about how Shinra synthesizes materials like Mithril, so they don't really use it as much anymore. You also get, um, some nice classic music here. Oh, Aerith, what are you doing? <laughs> oh my god. Just turn around and, and my characters are bumping into shit or performing superhuman feats. Show superhuman feats, baby, please! History of the Mithril Mine. I think, um... Yeah, them choosing to portray this as a historical, like, archaeological site is kind of fun. Missed the off-stream premiere yesterday, but I'm far enough ahead over the weekend I can catch up with this one live. Yeah, it's just, again, you missed side quests and the briefest moment of Barrett and the party talking about Mithril. And Beck and his bandits doing stupid things, and me not seeing um, a sign or a button. I had to press a button, I didn't, I didn't see it, and it was very embarrassing. this, like, gear for mining, I guess. So 
I'm just enjoying the environments. They are, like, massively detailed. Good. No, they love it. They, don't worry about them. Hope they're okay. Mm -mm. Sorry. Yeah. No. But if not, nothing we can do. He's right. Just, right. just keep moving. Don't worry about those guys. I don't know. We shouldn't just leave them. You know what? I will check. Okay, I'll come too. No. Nah, you stay. I know what I'm doing down here. You don't. Last thing we need is you getting hurt on us. I'll accompany him. I'm no stranger to caves. We're no strangers to love. You know the rules. So do I. Okay, if you're sure. Sorry to... I mean... Thank you. Keep track of the other robes now, you hear? Of course. Careful down there! I like Cloud Final Fantasy VII. They should make a, an amiibo for him. Chat, would you mind watching this guy for a minute? I have some... I have to do something real quick. Hang on, be right back. Did he do anything interesting? I had to get a hoodie because it's a little cold. He moved and he went... Okay. Cloud kind of moved out of the way. He looked at the screen and said Red Vox. Oh. Cool. Do you remember when a chat member was like, Vinny, did you see that Hideo Kojima posted a Red Vox song on his iPod? I remember that. He didn't, by the way. Hideo Kojima looked at the screen and said, listen to Red Vox. from so yeah that happens that happens a bit doesn't it AP up materia increases AP earned for linked materia by 100 100 percent That's a full hundo I'm gonna use the full hundo
Why do I have fire and fire and ice? Probably don't need to do that. Let me try something here. So I want to, yes, we can just keep that on. It levels slower. And we'll just keep using the uh, AP up materia to level this up faster. That makes sense to me. I always liked the materia system and I'm glad it's I'm glad it's kept relatively intact in uh remake here. Rebirth. If there are evil henchmen in this cave, Vinny, would that make it a goon cave? Oh, yes. Oh, yes, Mr. Wolf. Let me tell you. <laughs> Sir? About nothing. You know, Quark... I had something of a goon cave myself. You, Odo, a goon cave? Knock enemies into the air and bring them something, something. Um, is this material linked? No. The Great Link is one with the Goon Cave. <laughs> now we're getting... Wow. The the Star Trek lore... To, to like... Try to make sense of this bit. You have to watch like 750 episodes of Star Trek across five shows. If you want to understand the bit... I mean, it can evolve. Speaking of evolution, did you know that Salami Jens, who also who played um, the main Odo uh, lady from The Great Link, also was in an episode of Star Trek The Next Generation, where she was the, the person talking about those uh, the, the races that were seeded across the galaxy and that Romulans, Klingons, and Vulcans all have a similar an ancestry. It's the his name is Salami Jens. It's her, her actually. It's, uh... I don't think it's pronounced Salami. But it could be. You know, I haven't heard from Chadley in a while, and I'm feeling a little bit left out. I want to know what Chadley's doing. Hello, Cloud. Did you know that I was playing cards while you were gone? Have you heard of the new game, Balatro? Royal Blood is out. Or Queen's Blood, or whatever the fuck it's called. It's all about Balatro now, Cloud. That's the only way I would like Chadley. If he said some shit like that, I'd be like, alright, he's not that bad of a guy. I've also heard people say that he's just lonely, which is why he calls Cloud a lot. And, um... It, that I don't think that makes me feel any differently about him, if I could be honest. Sorry, man. You have your wife. He created a wife. Like a VR wife. Mm. 
wow. You'll see. It's a little hard to level up Chrono AG. Uh, all right, never mind. This guard stick is um, conjure a ward. Activate the effect of the ward. Okay. I, I mean, it's such a good system, the Final Fantasy IX system of use weapon, unlock skill with weapon. I kind of like that the weapons in this game aren't just pure stat increases, because that can sometimes feel just like a little shallow. I guess. It gets in the way of just using whatever weapon you want. What, like a pure weapon increase? I mean, the other thing is, like, you can just do cosmetics. Take the lead. I guess that would be one way to do it, is just pure, like... Unlock weapon, you can use it on any weapon. If you don't like the look of one, you could just have anything look like the Buster Sword. I think that's good. Yeah, like a transmog. I I'm down for that. They did that in Final Fantasy 16 for Clive Sword. So I'm... I think that's alright. That's like a good middle ground. But uh, I do like this system too. You just... You know, spend a couple battles mastering the skill, and then switch back. And, I mean, like I, I said, the, the weapons are fairly comparable in terms of power. So I'm using the Buster Sword now. I could use the Sleek Saber. It's got a little bit more attack, but a little less magic attack. But, uh, yeah, the Buster Sword is just, you know... Iconic, I would say. And you know what's funny about it? When this game came out, it, it was, like, well known that that was the dumbest looking sword of all time. It's like, wait a minute, how does he carry it? We're just used to it, and now I think it's cool as fuck. But, you know, at the time, it's just this massive sword. <laughs> it's like so... It, look at it, it's so... Simple. Maybe that's why it, it's iconic. Wow. This place is huge. Yeah, and clean. Clean! What's that? To get out of here. Let's see. Remember when they gave Cloud a new sword and Advent Children had way too much shit going on? Yeah, that was um problem. I didn't see Advent Children in the theater with the new footage. Uh, there's a part of me that doesn't want to watch that movie again. <laughs> There's a lot I like about it, though. That's the crazy thing. I think it's actually kind of... kind of neat in some respects, but... I wasn't gonna go to a theater. Unless there's a popcorn bucket with, like, uh, a worm... um... attachment, I don't want to want to know about it. But, yeah, it was just too much, and then it, like, split into, like, seven other swords, and, uh... I like... the design of this as is. It's kind of just as it was, but it's a little bit more textured. Like, you got some lines happening. 
Otherwise, it's just a big hunk of metal with some materia slots, and um, it still makes no goddamn sense whatsoever. But I like it. I'm used to it. I just believe this skinny ass dude can lift it, and I'm fine with it. It's also funny because in the original Final Fantasy VII, you're kind of only using it for most of Midgar, right? Like, after Midgar, you get a new one. And in Remake, you have options of like, you know, four or five different swords in that game. But, I mean, I think one of the main reasons it became iconic is it just it's associated with a game that sold many, many millions of copies. One. Two, the box art. The, the cover art for the game is, like, stupidly recognizable. And, um... I think part of what makes it memorable is the silliness of, like... Why is it bigger than him? Yeah, the spiked bat. I do remember the spiked bat in, um, original Final Fantasy VII. I really wish I could find... I made MS Paint art of Cloud. It wasn't as bad as your baby, I swear. But I really would love to find it. It was MS Paint. I printed it out. It may still exist. It was Cloud. It was on the world map. There was Midgar. There was Temple of the Ancients. There was a couple other things. And that was it. That was, like, one of the few times I attempted, like, art as Bab, other than just, like, clip art. <laughs> Some of this stuff may still exist, and I would still love to do a notebook stream, where I, like, scan pages of, um, old notebooks and show some of the art. That would take effort. I don't know if there's that much interest in, in something like that. I know everyone's gonna say yes now, like, you know, do it, but... If that stuff still exists, there's a chance I would do it. Oh god. Actually, I was wrong. This is Ogre. I don't like these guys. Fire. What, hearing this theme as a battle theme is kind of fun. We watch Sunday stream content. We're here for your commentary, not the content. Wait, what? What do you mean? You, you, that was a lot of... the word content. I appreciate it. I think I know what you're saying. That's kind of neat to hear. I, I can't... Um, I can't say that doesn't feel good to hear. But I also think... Um, when it comes to, like, okay, me going to find a notebook from... 25 years ago, and showing my weird-ass drawings, and, like, uh, stuff that makes no sense. I draw totally abstract. Just... utter nonsense. I don't see any black robes. Did we lose them? Still got time to I, catch You know, up. that sounds Many like it would be fun alive. for anyone. Even if you don't know my commentary, it'd be, like, kind of a neat thing to, to see someone... 
not do schoolwork, but instead draw a bunch of weird non-Euclidean dicks. Like, think of, picture this chat. Ouroboros, but dick. Crazy. Oro penis. Yeah. Almost. Or a phallus. Doesn't really work. But I would like to, at the very least, if I can't find some of that stuff, I would I think what would be fun would be um, so finding that out, piece really. of cloud art. Holding up okay? He's been through worse. He's been instructed to take some time to himself. To relax. Recuperate. Hmm. Correct me if I'm wrong, but that sounds a lot like a nice, long, all-expenses-paid vacation. Well, more or less. Lucky. Hardly. He's bored out of his mind. Holy shit, is that Pitbull? <laughs> Probably misses it. Seriously? What are we even doing here? It's rude and Elena. Or is it Elena? Sorry, but I gotta say it. This mission, it makes no sense. Why are we wasting our time following these hooded weirdos around? Orders are Someone orders. just said that's a very young Elena the voice. It is, our yeah. Concern. Yeesh. Maybe you need a vacation. How so old is she supposed him, to be in this Mr. game? Workaholic. Thoughts? Oh, she's like 18. Oh, okay. Down. I mean, that's what Sung would do if he was here. <sighs> Assholes. Who's there? <laughs> it was just your echo. Sharp ears. Oh, damn it. <gasps> no freaking way. <laughs> Did you just move that with your mind? Feast your eyes on the Turks' latest and greatest, Elena. But you three can call me your worst nightmare. Where's Reno? On vacation. And unfortunately for you, I'm here to fill in. She may be new, but she's still a Turk. And a consummate professional. I never. <laughs> Wind. We, we got any wind? Rude's not gonna fight Tifa. Oh, he is. Okay, never mind. But no choice. I don't think he wants to. Mega potion. Man, Elena must have done really well at the Turk Academy. If that, if that exists. One more. Yeah. It's your 
Jesus. All right, well, here's Titan. Duty calls. Wait, did she say bitch? Did she say the name's Elena bitch? <laughs> no, I didn't, like, okay, chat. I thought there was no way that was what she said. I didn't believe it. Listen, Final Fantasy VII has always been goofy. And weirdly, this game somehow manages to make me laugh, and I don't fully understand why sometimes, but I just... I enjoy that it's willing to not take itself too seriously. Gorsh. Throw another holder. A uh, boulder, not holder. What am I saying? Boulder. Throw another one. Alright, goodbye. It's weird that Aerith doesn't have any healing. Aerith. Prey? Where where was that? I think we're almost done. Oh, there it is. You need two for that though. Oh, okay. That's why I didn't see it. It was great. I was like, oh, no healing. That was technically true. Hands in the air, right now. Better keep that toy where I can see it, lest you want to hold. I love that the rules of the battle go right out the now window as soon as a cutscene starts, and now they're afraid of one bullet. Y'all got a lot to answer for. A lot of blood on your hands. You need someone to blame. Is that a fucking 1911? It's a cult. I suggest you look in the mirror. For us, however, things have changed. While you're still wanted fugitives, if you stay out of our way, we'll stay out of yours. Oh, yeah? Oh, shit. Take care of Aerith for me. Song, you just killed that guy. <laughs> Elena! <laughs> what if she missed the kick, though? Nice one, Red! Not for nothing, but Titan was just in here. Just gonna float there. See, they're wet. Not zero out of ten. Hey, where are the others? There, there's wet graphics. We're good. Just taking a quick dip to get the crime off. How does Barrett's gun not weigh him down? I'm sorry, I'm ruining every moment. <laughs> Do you see a way to We'll find one. That's kind of just what I do. We'll meet you at the exit. Okay. Hmm. 
Hojo's lab was filled with men like this. Mako poisoned. Every last one of them. Poor bastards. What do you think their deal is? Where they going? They're following Sephiroth. Or so Cloud seems to think. Sephiroth! Don't say that. Let's hope the boy can keep it together. Barrett, may I kindly ask what the fuck you are doing? He's got um, a bullet replicator. I'm not going to tell you where he keeps it, but he has infinite bullets. I like this take on the on the music. Barrett, what were you and Red 13 doing down there? Shooting things? Oh, like enemies? Rocks. I like that move. That's a good Red 13 move. So, Barrett uh, worked at a mine. I mean, there's more backstory, of course. I'm sure this game is going to get to it at some point, but... Um, yeah, so he's got experience. But now I'm finding out right. he just shoots rocks. How we getting out of here? That might be an option. <laughs> Vinny, I think you're full on iron. No. No. Enhanced Hunter's Bangle. It's a gift for Cloud. There's, yeah, material limits are not great. But I kind of understand why they're in the game. I just don't, yeah, I don't love them. But I guess, uh, you can upgrade stuff. That's what those rubies are for. But 
Bulletproof Vest Mark II. Did somebody say rubies? They're yours, my friend. I don't think I actually ended up using iron there, but... I don't think I'm full on iron. I always wondered why this enemy was called Flan, and I, I understand it now as an adult. Explain? Well, isn't Flan a type of dessert? It kind of looks like the dessert a little bit, I guess. Flan is pudding. Yeah. Yeah, I figured it was, it was like pudding-y type substance, yeah? So yeah, they look like pudding. I'm gonna summon Magic Pot. It's legal. It's legal. What a dumb end. What a dumb summon this is. My god. Damn, that move is good. Red 13 should be a summon, not magic pot. I have a feeling someone on the dev team was like, well, this cave has got a lot of stuff uh, that you can't interact with. Maybe we, we need something to have the party do. Ah, not Barrett shoot rocks. Just make them really satisfying and give them physics. Oh, lightning is incredible. Look, it's it's a yellow from the earth chat. It's it's a, a natural yellow um created by years of of uh, of sulfates and ammonioids uh, combined to create a yellow like nitrate film. Um, ammonioids. Yeah, there's it's sulfur. It's sulfur. Someone just said P Rock. Gotcha. Yeah. There was a little bit of a sewage runoff thing happening here. Yeah. <laughs> if 
Barrett is strong as fuck if he can just launch himself up with one arm. <laughs> My god. Silhouette. You know, Johnny, this might be a good thumbnail. If I could just get Red 13 facing this way and also Barrett facing the camera. Unfortunately, the framing is not great, but I think Johnny can figure something out, probably. He's excellent at thumbnails. Photo mode. Oh, yeah, photo mode. Uh, not really that much of a difference. Good enough. I like it. It looks cool. But yeah, you don't get as much control over the photo mode as something like in Tears of the Kingdom. I remember back in the day there was no such thing as photo mode. Oh, uh, just on a side note for people wondering about the other games I'm streaming, I don't know when RimWorld and Chrono Trigger will happen, but um, for sure in the next couple days. Like I said, I'm going to be streaming a little bit this week because there's just a lot of great games to play and I, I have no problem. Uh, streaming a little more during the week and then just taking my weekends off. That's fine. If I need days, I'll take them. But I'm good with where I'm at right now. But Sunday? When I say take weekends off, I don't mean Sunday. For me, taking a weekend off is Friday, Saturday. I like that. I like having those two days off. That's been, um... That's been a revelation for me, honestly. Because I would just mostly, not all the time, but I would like stream through them. And I did this to myself, but I would feel guilty not streaming like a day or two days in a row. It's very, very silly. I mean, once in a while someone would semi-guilt trip, but it, w it wasn't ever like bad enough where I should feel bad about not streaming a day. Weird. And it's like, I understand the Twitch grind, but I, I also am not that kind of streamer, necessarily. And, um, I've already paid a lot of my dues. You know, I streamed a whole ton for many, many years, and I'm very happy I did. But now I can take a couple days off, and I'm, I feel better about it. But, um, I also do love streaming, still, very much. And when you have games like RimWorld, and Chrono Trigger, and this, and fucking Balatro, not bad. <laughs> it's not that bad to stream. It's a good lineup. Really good games. I also, uh, you know, got done with RZ last week. That was awesome. That was that was a really good time. Um, I played some Dark Forces. And uh, that'll be... You'll watch that on the Full Sauce channel. I've got a couple boomer shooter things happening on the Full Sauce channel. And, uh... Dark Forces Remaster is quite good. And I enjoyed my time with it. <clears throat> the levels are labyrinthian and confusing. As someone who has yellow paint brain. Yellow... Paint, paint rot. 
Uh, but I think even, honestly, just even if you compare it to some stuff like Quake, the fucking level design is massively confusing. Not as confusing as I was led to believe, and still very doable. I don't know about later on in the game, but early on, I navigated. I got a little lost, but I figured it out. But it's actually a pretty good game. It's, uh, it's good. I wish there were... You, like, you get one weapon for, like, an hour and a half in that game. Hour 15 minutes. It's like... You get the, the fucking E-11, I think that's what it's called, the Stormtrooper Blaster, and that's, like, most of your weaponry. But, um, yeah, I played Wrath as well. Wrath is really, really solid. Really good game. If you like old-school first-person shooters, whether they be games that came out years ago, or games that are being made now in spirit of, what a time to be alive. God damn. I don't get sick of them. E11 is the Stormtrooper Blaster. Gotcha. Yeah, I don't get sick of these fucking games, chat. I may not play through all of them in full, but just like back in the day, whenever a new first-person shooter came out, I was always, like, at least interested. And it's still the same thing. Well, I did play, um, I did play Ultra Kill in full. Cultic. There's a couple I played entire, you know, the, the entire thing of. Love a good Doom mod, says a chat member. I have another Get in Doom with it. I have, like, two Get in Doom with it. There's always that stuff. Um, there's another quality Half-Life 1 mod that I've been interested in. I forget the name of it, but... What was the one I played not too long ago? There was Echoes, and there was another one. If Jolly were here, he would know, but... There was another one that was really, really high quality. It was, uh, oh, Entropy Zero, yeah. What is he doing? Oh. Oh, was Red 13 chasing his tail? Oh. I didn't even see it. Have you checked out Proteus? Yeah, I love Proteus. Anyway, yeah, there's some more Half-Life stuff I could always play, too. So I'm, I'm in... There's no shortage of stuff. I, I know that some people would prefer I branch out and try stuff that is completely outside of my wheelhouse. And I understand that. Um... No. But I'm happy to play this. <laughs> I'm happy to play this! I, I branch out slowly, and even so, I still play thousands of games, like, kind of literally. And, um, yeah, once in a while I'll play something that is a genre slightly outside, and I'll try some stuff, but, yeah, I, I know what I'm gonna like, and I know what I'm, I'm mostly interested in. And I'm sure you know what you're interested in, too. And, you know, you, you tend to... You tend to stick to the stuff you enjoy, but even within the stuff I enjoy, it's it's like... You know, I tend to like city builders, I like first-person shooters, I like platformers, I like RPGs, action RPGs, I like fighting games. Uh, covers a lot of different ground. Card games, like Balatro. I t you know, I have... I kind of like to rotate. Sometimes I, you know, I'm good for a first-person shooter. Sometimes I'd rather just slow it down, play some cards. It's 
it's nice to have variety, but the problem is it's almost too much, and sometimes I get decision paralysis. And, uh... Lately, I don't have that because I'm just playing a lot of... Deep Rock Survivors, or, uh, this, or Balatro. So I have no problem playing what I'm playing. But, uh, there are times I've opened Steam, and I'm like, what shall I play today? And I just don't know what well to do. Now. It's just too many. Look who it is. <gasps> hey guys! Over here! <laughs> Y'all taking a breather? Or what? The bridge is out! Do you think you can give us a hand? Shoot it. For two grand. Two. <laughs> Hilarious. Two grand gig. Also, obviously, in a game that's blown up to this degree, the scale of this mine alone, the Mithril Mine, is, like, just massively increased from, uh, you know, where it was in the original. It was just, like, your typical RPG dungeon. Yeah, it would take like 15 minutes to get through with the original, right? I can't wait to spend 35 hours in the Icicle Inn. And play through all of SSX Tricky for the snowboard sequence. Good pitch. Piato. Who is <laughs> Bauto? Is it like a Bellatro? <laughs> How did you spell Beato? B A O T O. <laughs> Sorry, it's funny. Um, it's a pretentious music YouTuber. No, I'm kidding. He's not pretentious at all. Actually, I think he he's got. Listen, he sells his Beato book. It's thousands of dollars, but he always sells it for like ninety five percent off. <laughs> no, he's um he's a, an older guy. He's like sixty one, and he's very interested in. He's a producer. He's recorded albums, he plays music, um, and he talks about music, and he did a series a while ago called What Makes the Song Great. And it's just literally him talking about music he likes. And then once in a while, he, he goes through the top 10 um, on Spotify of like the pop hits, and his soul leaves his body. But he's always very complimentary, and he always points out good things. Um, I can see why some people might not be into his stuff. And I'm not always into his stuff. I'm not. But there's some, you know, he interviewed Stuart Copeland. That was a big one. He interviewed Brian May. Uh, he interviewed a lot of a lot of people that I would consider to be favorites of mine. Robert DeLeo from Stone Temple Pilots. Uh, one of the primary... He's like the primary songwriter and the bassist. And um, I'm a big fan of his. So he does good interviews, uh, so, but yeah, I mean, okay, Pat Finnerty's another music YouTuber who takes the piss out of him, and whenever he talks about, like, any kind of musical stuff, like theory, he always says Beato after it. So I guess I'm kind of explaining the joke or the reference, and I don't know if that makes it better or worse, but that's why once in a while I say Beato. It's, uh, Pat Finner Finnerty's, Finnerty's fault. Someone said, I don't know about that guy. Oh, a lot of people don't know about me. 
Everybody's got their guy. You know what I mean? Choose your guy. Maybe you don't. Whatever. If I can't shoot, I don't know how to solve the puzzle. Chad, am I looking for a specific spot? No, do have to go back down. Oh, sorry, I was talking about music stuff. Streamer brain is real. Sometimes it's hard to... Focus on two things at once perfectly. Um, some people would prefer if I spoke more, and some would prefer if I didn't speak at all and just played the game. So I try to do a little bit of both. Can you only speak in grunts? Chat, when you say other side, I, I have to admit, I have no idea what you mean. Please help. I, I didn't pay enough attention. Other ladder? Okay, now I'm just going backwards. You have to shoot the ladder. Oh. Okay, where is the ladder? Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. One of these? These? Wait, we, we were up here a moment ago, hang on. Okay, sorry chat. <laughs> Brain worms. Turns out I could solve even that puzzle by shooting, and even that was still too difficult for me. I like when you switch the tracks, and Red 13 is also like on there. giant rock debris, but it has the physics of, like, ping-pong balls. We'll- we'll just keep, you know, we'll just keep pushing. I'll keep the chat busy. <laughs> With that. Let's just wait a sec while all that funny stuff gets ready. And that. Not that. The problem is I have the small El Garbo. So I only have um, six buttons and just many folders to choose from. But I actually don't have a ton of room left on my desk, so the small one's the best one. And I also know that Mike has had issues with El Garbo. And, um... I know there's probably better options than the Steam Deck at this point. Stream Deck, not Steam Deck. Steam Deck is great. I love it. Stream Deck. Deck is a good alternative. It's cool. If 
I need to, I'll look into it, but... As long as they have one that's similar in size to the small one, that would be good. We're in business. Thanks. Appreciate it. <laughs> so even Clark... Grand. And don't you forget. Even, even Clark can show some appreciation once in a while. We can open it from here. See a button or a lever? One sec. Thanks. We owe you. Yep. Two grand. That's fair. Damn, he's fast with that shit. See, a button or a lever bearer is just making fun of you, man. What are you, you just gonna take that? He looked directly at the camera, and he said, Vinny, first. <laughs> I couldn't believe it. I was, I was, like, completely blown away by that. That's one of my favorite, like, general gags, is insert name of thing or person here, looks at camera, and says thing. Even if it didn't happen. Especially if it didn't happen. That's right, Jay. And then he says, you just full of surprises. I wonder whose idea... <laughs> I wonder whose idea was it? Was it Woolsey? Did Ted Woolsey work, work on Final Fantasy VII to spell just as Jess with a, um... with apostrophe? It wasn't Woolsey. Okay. Woolsey. Woolsey? Wait, you're telling me this room that looked like a Metroid uh, Prime boss fight arena ends up having a Metroid Prime-esque boss in it? Then it's time to rock Cranky Boy here back to sleep. Looks like that hurt I don't have a assess, unfortunately. Hell yeah. That's vulnerable. Attack. Before it recovers. Trying, Red. Take over. Need my help, do you? I don't know if Thunder is the way here, but we're gonna try. Probably not. Weak to Thunder? Oh, okay. Weakness, got it, I see now, yep. It... <laughs> Damn. 
It took a team of three countries a year to do that animation, and this is just a throwaway boss. This ought to be fun. Let's summon Clyde. I beg of you, heed my call. So stupid. That's so dumb. I, I love it. works. If only I had a, a Ramu on me right now, and I don't. That's all right. Don't do that. Go for the spine. go. Going for the head now. Okay, this could be it, chat. This could be it. I think I got it. Got it. That was it, Luigi. I just said gave the poor guy sciatica. That's a mighty fine staircase. Thank you kindly. <laughs> what? I <laughs> 
there have been a couple of occasions on the stream where I have pressed that button randomly at the exact right moment. That was not one of those moments. If Barrett said something like, that rock was sure suspicious, that would have been like, you know, let the sound play. Let the boy watch. There's always another chance. I mean, you never know. I, you, you have to have the button ready. This is another important thing as a streamer. If you don't have the Among Us sound ready... So, I don't think you should be nominated for a very prestigious Timu Award. Unless you play one season of RimWorld. And have the Among Us sus noise uh, ready to go for the exact right moment. You need these things, otherwise, otherwise they don't they don't call you. <sighs> what do you think they were talking about? What took you? Stumbled on the killer rock formation and couldn't tear ourselves away, right? The ground here could give way at any moment. We shouldn't linger. True, but don't forget, Shinra knows we're here now. Might be more of them outside. That doesn't make any difference to me. I ain't stopping, not for them or anyone. Not after Midgar. Not after what we saw. at stake here, the fate of the world. So if they get in our way, that's on them. Right. It's a weird Let's time to, to play a recap. The robes. They're our best chance of finding Sephiroth. Everywhere! This is, I believe, fire. Mother? Was he gonna say motherfucker? Oh, Tifa, you can't say that. Where this isn't the Italian Senate. Come on. Listen, I know you're an honorary Italian. And uh, on behalf of all of my Italian brethren, we, we welcome you, but... I just wouldn't recommend saying that. Did it say unable to... Uh have like what can I make with iron ore I, I guess one of these again I guess the chat member was right make earrings uh revival ear okay so I can make some new stuff it's kind of worth it just just to grind some um, some levels. 
grinding levels. Bruh. There are types, there are gamers that, that don't, they, they got a min-max, chat. They got a min-max. It's part of the grind set. I've mentioned this before, but... Um, a group of friends of mine that... I would say it's like a fairly new group of friends that, um, mainly holidays, once in a while, but, um, I don't know everybody in the group, and I met some people, and, uh, there's a couple, and their names were Min and Max. I've told this before, but it's still, I almost kind of can't believe it's real. Hey, check it out. This is what I played at, um... Just them? At Comic-Con. Guess so. Hmm? Huh? <laughs> that didn't happen in the demo. Oh my god. Not the one I played. He ain't coming back. That city they're headed to, is that? Shunar. Shinra territory. Come on. I thought it was pronounced Junnan when I was younger. Also, Johnny Greenwood from Radiohead was in a band called Junoon, spelled the same way. Does look really cool. Where did that bird even come from, you think? There's a story about a great condor said to roost on an island's abandoned reactor, though there's no longer any way to reach the island. Or at least not another way. Nature's finally reclaimed what Jim was stole. Well, even if we could get there, I'd rather not bother. It didn't seem very friendly. Agreed. Let's focus on where we can go. That's right. Seeing that Cloud looked at the screen and said that. It's like, Cloud was like, listen. Record scratch. He was like, listen. I know that there is a side quest at Fort Condor as soon as you left the Mithril Cave before you went to Junon. I know that. But right now you can't do that. So why don't you focus on that big cool area over there, huh? Baby Chuck Bup! Please! Did you see the press kits that were sent out to YouTubers uh, and streamers for the Final Fantasy VII Rebirth? It had a glowing, like, neon chocobo sign, and it had a cushion. It came with, like, a, a cushion from the game. <laughs> Did you get one? No. I'll tell you what I did get. For Crisis Core, I got a handkerchief. <laughs> I'm not kidding. That's what I got. But no, I didn't I didn't get one.
Obviously, the cushion would make my life more comfortable. But I'm not busted up over it. Does the cushion get sucked into your ass after use? Oh, like in the game, like in the actual game. You cannot call Chocobo in this region yet. Home to its own breed of Chocobo with unique ability. You will need to wrangle the area's bird first. You have to follow their tracks. Well, my format has been, like the idea has been story on stream as much as possible and then a bunch of side quests maybe pre-record so I'm gonna try to stick to that however last time I did the open world stuff I enjoyed it way more than I expected so I'm gonna do some of the open world stuff now we're gonna do some of this stuff but at some point before this stream ends tonight we're gonna go to Junon I guess I'll go to Chudlot's tower. Who are you hoping to date at the Gold Saucer? Genova. Fiends run this place. Rare tone do variants? I want to be in that little, like, rickety... ride. And I want to hear... I can- can I now just not have Cloud in the party at all? No? Oh. I'm not saying that's what I wanted, I was just curious if that was a thing. Wait, how the fuck do you switch party again? What, what have I done? I've forgotten how to do this. Combat settings. Oh, proper. I can't believe they made another Chadley. It's on you. I need to assess. Win. Deal with that. Aerith, you're up. I'll take care of them. Well, it was worth mastering that, I think. Someone 
Ooh! No! Fucking hell! I don't think I fully understand how to use Aerith's ward shift. Damn it! Damn it, damn it, fucking goddamn it. Alright, fine, we're gonna go in first. Ungar Max, now, Barry. Ungar Max, do it. We've got some. We've got a couple minor issues at hand here. Ah! Boy, I really slacked on the healing, didn't I? Save me, Barrett. We're not using magic pot. that just not work at all? Oh, what an annoying enemy! Okay, that's something. That is something. That is something. I, I know how to do the fight now. Oh, is she gonna tell me how to do the, the thing? I got this shit. No, Chad, I got this shit. needs to use this is the best spell for this Aurora Borealis in my house this time of year
Come on, Barrett. Barrett, use your focus shot. Wow, it's so much easier than I thought it was. White boy, use use braver now. Cloud. Forgot his name for a second. Clyde. One day we're going to find out that Cloud was just a mistranslation from Clyde. And they tried to correct that with Clive in Final Fantasy 16. Hi Vinny, what's your favorite cigarette brand? I think cigarettes can suck fucking diseased cock. Uh, but it was American Spirit, because I thought I was a hipster. And I was like, oh, it's not as bad for you. Because, um... <laughs> it's not as bad for you, it's natural. Meanwhile, like, the Marlboro Corporation, Philip Morris, the diseased cowboy man company, also, oh, a cool stuck animal, um, also made American Spirits, and... Yeah, they, they were probably not... Probably not that great for you. Well, I again, I understand if people got addicted to smoking because their friends were doing it or you're out drinking, like I'm not gonna like blame anyone and make you feel like you're a bad person for smoking. It is a concern though, because it was it was not doing me any good. And uh it was tough to stop. I tried quitting several times before I finally did. I've confirmed. No. And also, yeah, if you have a proclivity towards smoking and then, like, something traumatic happens. You might pick up a cigarette again. I'd recommend against it, fight that impulse, because I was able to, um... Wrangle a chocobo. Boy, we are really... Okay, we gotta find some chocobo. So, I when I quit Cold Turkey nearly... I guess it was almost 10 years ago. It was because I had a fucking tooth infection. And the dentist... I've told the story a bunch, so it's the wrong button. But, um, what happened <clears throat> was... He said, uh, okay, so you, you shouldn't... You should not smoke cigarettes, and then we have to pull a wisdom tooth. And then definitely don't smoke cigarettes after that, because you can get a dry socket. And just the words, dry socket... I don't- I don't even know what it was. I was just like, I don't want to dry sco scock it. So I stopped, and I continued to stop, and I was able to do it. Once I was, um, beyond, like, a month of not smoking, it wasn't that hard. It wasn't that hard. But, um, yeah, now the- the thing about it is, um, maybe some people feel this way from the start, but... Secondhand smoking now pisses me off a little bit more. There's, um... And I don't, like, again, I'm not gonna tell people what to do with their life. But... And indoor smoking is not really allowed anyway in New York. Um, but there is one problem at the studio where... There is a person who smokes indoors... And the smoke... It's hard to explain the way it's set up, but the, the smoke does make its way into the mu the studio where we record music. And then my clothes smell like cigarettes afterwards, and I'm... ...not really happy about that. 
so we we have uh, I got a filter, and it helps a lot. But yeah, let's you know. It's a thing. It's not a great thing, but it is a thing. All I ask is that you put up with my shitty smoke smell from my clothes. I don't smoke around people who don't like it. That's appreciated. Yeah, and I wouldn't even give you side eyes. Like, I really wouldn't. As someone who's, um, who's been there, I, I have no right to judge. This cliff appears to be insurmountable without a mountain chocobo. Uh. Thanks, Charlie. Find a chocobo now. Brace yourself. Take the lead. Make no sense. Moving on then. Oh, a tower. Those farms look chocobesque. Oh, cloud. All done. All right, that was easy. Never mind. A soup of chocobo would be a chocobisk. I think you're right, chat member. If I could quit smoking, I'd likely be a lot happier. Thank you for your inspiration. Yeah, again, I don't want it to come across as judgy, because when people would judge me for smoking, it would make me, like, want to continue smoking out of spite. But that, that might be more a me problem. I do think it's possible to quit. I think life has been better without it. My lung capacity has improved. I thought stupidly that my my singing voice sounded better as a smoker. And the rasp was cool. But I gotta be honest. I don't think it was cool enough to sacrifice capacity and range and health. And I have more of that now. Uh, including maybe more health, which is good. So it's been better even for me, like, even using my dumb justification, like, oh, I can sing, like, like, Blood Bagel type shit. But I mean, my songs don't really sound like that anymore. I, I, I you know, how angry are you in your late 30s? Uh, I don't get angry, I just get sad. <laughs> I mean, that's just me. Um, I still get angry once in a while. Uh, but yeah, no, I mean, this the smoking has been better for me overall in many, many ways. That's, uh, I'm the stupid one. I like birds a lot.
Is that how it feels in your 30s? I get that. Um, I, it's just a me thing. I don't know, I mean, things definitely change as you get older, and... I feel like the, the patience level you have for your own bullshit lowers as well. But... You know, there's, there's, um... I, I don't know, I, I... I just sort of feel like... Some of that anger that I had... ...isn't quite, uh, what it was. That looked very janky, but alright. I'm cool with it. It's also kind of like expecting Trent Reznor to continue writing the same type of music he made on, um, Downward Spiral. It's- it's different, I'm not comparing myself in terms of skill. But, with Trent Reznor... ...getting older and being healthier and having like, you know, a family and shit. I can see him doing more interesting things, like the last Nine Inch Nails albums, I- I really liked. But it's- yeah, it's not the same type of stuff. Uh-oh, that's going the wrong way. I thought you could get spotted once. Or, like, three times, twice. There's a checkpoint. Boy, they really... They're really dragging out this chocobo thing. Shit game. It's only shit if the water doesn't stick to the character. And their, and their hot bodies. When they exit some swimming pool, or hot tub, or gel cavern, or something, you know? That guy who said that, by the way, got exactly what they wanted. They got all the attention they wanted. God, am I done? Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. You think the Chocobo might be slightly perturbed or, or on alert about this little train car thing moving as well, but no. Good thing there's a little train that just goes in circles. What do you think its use is? Fun, like a kitty ride? <laughs> okay. That's cool. The different chocobos doing different things in the regions is a neat touch. Even the music per region is different for the Chocobo theme. It fits the Junon region music, that's cool. Some 
weird looking rabbits over this way. So all of this is Junon? Everything above us. Below is under... The lighting got real weird. Little more than an impoverished fishing village. Huh. Vegas. Sinra's always gotta have someone to stop on. The fuck happened to it's the lighting? MO. HDR is fucky. Yeah. Ah! Oh. Don't do that. That's awful. That didn't look like that in the demo. And and the fucking the, the thing I played at Comic Con. I, I say demo, not the one that I didn't play the demo demo. But yeah, that's that's a little that's a little shit. That sounds like every owl sound effect I've ever heard. I like it. It probably it's probably the same one. Damn, that's cool, Chocobo. Your style. Your climb game is too strong. It's the only owl in the world. They record the one owl. Junon is home to the summoned entity Phoenix. Though a freak is often associated with fire, Phoenix's flames are no less potent. In fact, the conflagrations of this undying bird are said to imbue those in touches with her new life. Perhaps it will offer you its grace. Perhaps you'll fucking step on your own dick. Wait, I think that was a compliment. Ah. Man, Hojo imbued Chadley with a massive dong. Sorry, Chadley. I, I, I mean, you're welcome. I mean, sor I'm sorry. You're welcome. Why are you so mean to Chadley? You know what? I've seen people even meaner to Chadley by now on the internet. Phoenix looks cool in this. So you see the emote that Lumpy made for Chadley. Oh, it's deli it's delightful. Just give it some time. We don't have it right this moment, but eventually. Giga Chadley. <laughs> no, 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 no. I don't think it's Giga Chadley. It's just regular Chadley.
There is some part of me that laments the giant um, map. Uh, the, laments the loss of the giant map. These these regions are huge, and it's doing like a mini open world thing per region, which is cool. But there's another part of me that kind of likes just one big map, and you're like one big dude stomping around on it like a train set for imitation crab meat. I'm a little nostalgic for that. The people of Junon were once largely seafarers, who only returned to sh the shore to peddle the bounty of the ocean. Unlike other communities that settled in a single location and gradually expanded their territory, these sailors preferred the freedom of the open sea, and over time banded together with like-minded souls to form a unique society. As a republic, they repurposed a flotilla of large vessels to construct a floating city that would serve as the center of their trade network. Having forged a robust infrastructure, they then set their sights on uniting the disparate peoples of the world. Though Junon ushered in an era of economic and cultural prosperity, it was not to last. Shinra's revolutionary Mako technology put paid to their ambitions, and, and their once proud city now slumbers beneath the waves. That's a weird sentence. I've never heard something put like that. Shinra's revolutionary Mako technology put paid to their ambitions? Put laid to their ambitions! Right? Huh. Wait, put paid, is that an actual thing? Put paid, chiefly British, in end, to bring an end to something. Oh, it's a real thing. Okay, I never heard that before, but, uh... The way I interpreted it for a moment, I was like, Oh, Shinra... ...turned their... ...thing into... ...money-making game. And then people got, like, greedy? I don't know. From what I've, uh, read, I don't know how true this is, this is actually an older version of Unreal Engine 4. Kinda. There are times where I look out into the, the, the distance and I'm like, God damn, this looks amazing. Is that the guy from the original game? I don't remember. Chat, is that Fort Condor all the way in the distance there? Junon is so cute. Most of this is all here, it seems. I guess it is kind of a big interconnected map, somewhat. They just limit what you can see of it. Do the phenomenon intel? Chocobo makes it fast to get through. Yeah. 
do a couple more side quests and then we'll just head over to the city. Because, um... I remember what I played at the, the demo was kind of neat. And it, and it, you know, it recreates the events of Final Fantasy VII to a degree. I mean, you know, the hallmarks are there, as you'll see. Baby chicken! Chat, can I show you something? Maybe you didn't know this. Maybe you did, but check this out. <laughs> Good baby chicken. Did I just witness? Was there ever like um, a reverse chocobo, like a Boca Joe or something, or a Mocha Joe? All right. Like a Boshi, right? I think, yeah, exactly. That's what I was thinking when I said that. Like Boshi to Yoshi. Fuck Mocha Joe, I know. Did you see the lawyer that Larry had? That looked exactly like Mocha Joe. <laughs> he, had to qu he had to fire the guy because he was, he looked like Mocha Joe. According to the energy readings, the proto relic should be nearby. Oh, sorry, I'm talking about the new season of Curb. It's it's quite good. I'm enjoying it a lot. <laughs> Leon's balls become like a life hack for Larry. I'm not going to explain that any further. I'm just not. This has been uh, an amazing season for Leon. I, I oh man, I'm going to miss the show. But yeah, the quality of the new season has been pretty pretty high so far. It's it's like Again, there's certain stuff the early seasons kind of you just can't top. But there, there's some really really good shit in it. Leon has always been MVP. Yeah, he's it, you know what? It's Funkhauser. For me it was Funkhauser. And then, you know, sadly Super Dave left the mortal coil but he was so good and so leon is is now my guy he was too then but you know now even more so something indeed that's it now then all that remains is to that's odd so many energy spikes what is what this is a cake cause? this merits investigation one moment. Fort Condor, huh? Takes me back. Used to study basic tactics with it. Oh. Game's pretty fun, actually. Wedge was into it, and he and I'd play sometimes. Yuffie played this. Gravity Creason! Wait, Tifa! Don't! <laughs> oh, God. All right, here we go. Are here. What? Saved. <laughs> what in the hell is going on? Here? Oh, that's so fucking and why good. Do we look like this. Hey, watch what you shoot. Captain. Oh, don't give up the fight. This is amazing. No! Glad you're here.
here, troopers. Shinra forces are poised to strike our position. Help us! You're our only hope. We are? Now what did I just say? There's no time! The enemy's already upon us. We'll explain on the way. Just come! I like that they still have more polygons on one character than all in Final Fantasy VII original. I do actually know how to play this. Because I played, um... I played the, the thing. Should be fine. I, I yeah, in, in, um, Integrate. With, uh, Yuffie, there was Fort Condor. I just think it's fun that they get sucked into the game. I find, find that to be pretty, uh, pretty good. I, I had a big dumb smile on my face for that. I'm in the wrong unit. I meant to get a vanguard. It's rock, paper, scissors, too. It's like a fire emblem kind of... You know, you can see it in the top right. Sword beat bow. Bow beats defense. Range defeats um, defense. But you also need, I would imagine, I would need some enforcers here to, to take some of the hits. Uh, tank some hits, tank some hits. Oh, oh god, what are you doing? Save me, baby bird! I mean, there was no reason not to reuse this for a little bit. It's simple enough, too. I mean, even if you don't remember the, the fucking tutorial. Oh, shit. I want to summon Barrett. Hell yeah. Yeah, Barrett. Barrett's gonna fucking wreck that side of, of every. Oh, Cloud 2, Cloud 2. We've got 40 seconds. Rusty models are amazing. There we go, there we go, there we go. It, it's possible, chat. It is possible. We got Bow, uh, Barrett and Cloud. Bowed and Claret.
Come on, come on, eight seconds, come on! Come on, you can do it! You can do it! Fuck yeah. We did it! Victory's ours! And we owe it all to your gracious aid. We thank you. Captain! Fellow troopers! It would seem that our next battle is fast approaching! The enemy could launch another attack at any moment. Please, you must stay and help us fight! Not again. Hold up! The Proto Relic! Hmm? What is that I spy? What is that I spy? My memory is failing me, but intuition tells me that is the treasure I seek. Hold! Unhand that, you rogues! Captain! Bunch of wacky guys. The hell was that? <laughs> uh... Call me crazy, but we were inside the game, weren't we? That's impossible. It is impossible, right? Man, that's a tough choice for a thumbnail because I... Does that spoil it? You know what? Johnny, if you're watching, don't use that as the thumbnail. That's just too good. I want people to, to see that on their own. So what now, little man? Proto Relic's gone. One of those punks in there swiped it. It's in the trailers. Johnny, use it if you want. Or just Big Cock. Put it in the thumbnail, Big Cock. Faint, but I'm still tracking its signal. Which means a portal like the one you used to enter Fort Condor has opened elsewhere. We cannot ignore this amazing development. Again, game not taking itself too seriously is- is a strength. And even though that is reused from, uh, the- the DLC from... Remake? It's good that it's in here. I like it. I like that you can just find that and then... Play Fort Condor. So they're gonna fix the HDR too, right? Isn't Fort Condor kind of a big deal in Midgar? Yeah, it was really popular in Sector 7. Maybe I should have gotten into it earlier. Think I can still learn the basics? I don't see why not. I bet both you and Red could pick it up quickly. What do you say to that? I, I don't have thumbs. Oh, someone sounds confident. No backing out, okay? Listen to y'all. As if we've got nothing better to do. The Vistas in this game. So many Vistas. I like how they did that, and then they went and added a fucking card game, too. But, I think we're, we're good on, on the, uh... I'll get that one last tower, and then we'll go to Junon. Where is that last tower? Oh, it's behind there. Big jump. Okay, one more tower. No chocobo, I'm not stopping to pick up a ruby. It's cool that you can do that, but man, it just slows everything down. And it's useful. I mean, we can we used the rubies earlier. 
this area was cordoned off from what I played, so you couldn't you couldn't get over here. This is kind of Barrett's thing. I've got something just for you. You can do it. Take it over. I just love that this game exists in the same world. Like, there's like weird fantasy dragons. And there's like an angry dude saying, it's time for a serious ass whooping, and you don't question it. You get sucked into a board game. Like, what is the tone of Final Fantasy? It's insane. And it worked in, in 1997, and it, and it works now. Literally no reason for me to even summon Titan. I had to hit the dude one time. But you know, since he's here, Eat shit. <laughs> Stop, he's already dead. It's a weird merging of old RPGs and new RPGs, very steampunk. Really rides on the technology versus nature idea. It I mean that's what made the game. For me, it was it made it interesting. Is like I was used to like fantasy and sword RPGs and Zelda type ARPGs, and then suddenly the world itself got kind of more modern. Like Final Fantasy VII always struck me more as closer to where we were in the late late 90s. I mean, even now, listen, Advent Children they had flip cell phones. Listen, okay, I'm kind of glad that right now they're not talking to Chadley via an iPhone. The, I mean, they're talking to him via, like, a gun. It's a weird gun thing. It's a little strange, but it's not an iPhone. That's all. That's just all I'm saying. But the technology in this game always mirrored, I thought, modern stuff. M like, a lot more than the other games. And then Final Fantasy VIII was a mix of that, plus also new. Like, um, more, like, more futuristic. And Final Fantasy VI was, like, a little bit more steampunk. A little bit more primitive tech. Can't let you through. No civilians allowed. I'm a soldier, first class. Can't you tell by the, the outfit? Sorry, sir. I can't see you. A, a source of a lot of interesting moments in this game. This area. 
Well, I say this game. I have no idea if it's going to be exactly the same or what. But yeah, I mean, in Final Fantasy VII... Do you remember in Crisis Core when they, they cut the cannon in half? And then you found out it was VR. It's like, oh, that's kind of weird. All right, never mind. She's got an iPad. Welcome to Under Junon, our sunless oasis. My name is Rhonda. I'm the mayor and sheriff around these parts. turn you in and be a hundred grand richer for it <laughs> well you know what they say can't take it with you hmm. Hmm. <sighs> that's a hell of a reward to boot huh that's another half a million on top <laughs> half a million <laughs> down here though we know when to turn a blind eye. Consider our lips sealed. Sorry, but I call bullshit. Well, I don't think you would, if you knew even half of what my town's been through. You don't like it? Leave. But, over there, there's a quiet little inn, where everyone's welcome. Any guys in black robes pass through? Not that I saw. I did see some black suits, though. Two Turks. guys and a girl. Looked pretty tough. Well, well. They made a beeline right for the elevator. Now we're talking. No, don't even think about it. In case it isn't obvious, upstairs is Shinra turf. And the same goes for the elevator as well. Don't ask me what, but the company's got something big planned up there. And security is tight. You start anything? Anything at all? And there will be consequences. Okay. What if I play cards and beat everyone at cards? around here somewhere, so how are we gonna find them? That would depend on where they are headed. If they mean to continue west, there are only two ways off this continent. By sea, or by air. Right. Might want to ask around town, then. Locals will know routes not on the map. May have even seen stragglers pass through. Or got boats for rent or something. How about we meet at the inn when we're done? Sounds good. And remember, low profile. Note that it, Cloud, the only one that Cloud doesn't have a good relationship with right now is Barrett. Is it because I didn't do Barrett's quest at Calm? Well, it looks like me and Barrett aren't going on a date anytime soon. based on whether you've unlocked on the synergy ability with that character too. Could use some extra defense for Aerith. Aerith is getting like destroyed <laughs> every time I try to play. I just want to play the game and I cannot. Come back soon! 
Many years ago, this stretch of ocean Dog. was home to the Republic of Junon's capital, a floating city built atop a fleet of interconnected ships. Oil, coal. Hey, you saw this laundry and the wind Hey, you wanna play cards? Hey, yeah, you, you, you there. Guy who looks like a chocobo. Have all these Alpha Dunk Bangle? What a name! Kind of better than what Cloud has currently. <laughs> Don't be a strength. Someone said their game glitched and a chocobo was following them around like a party member. <laughs> Alpha dunk. Shinra's holding some kind of big event up top. Wonder what? Some bullshit. Oh, hey, Chadley. You've made your way to Under Junon. This town is quite reminiscent of the Midgar Undercity, isn't it? The severe lack of sunlight being one similarity. Oh, lightning and wind materia. We want that. Those are good, even though reduce the MP cost of spells with linked materia in battle. That's pretty good, too. I don't, I don't have the... I, I'm too tired to be doing, like, complicated fights say, right now. Many hazards await you on the road. Probably do Take one. Care. I know there's an event coming up in a Wait, moment. You want to buy something? Here? Okay. Wait, what's wrong with your store? It's like, what does your stuff have rat poison laced Come in it? Back again, please? Sometimes window shopping ain't enough. Could get the uh, lightning and wind material. That leaves a spare lightning. ATB stagger. We'll get that for Barrett too. Red thirteen. Perfect. Only so many ways you can prepare. Someone just said cloud lightning. Well, yeah. Elevators are only way up, but Rhonda won't thank us if we storm it. I'm beginning to think they don't like these Shinra folk. No siree. Village, this is ain't even allowed to take a rowboat out. Shinra's saying it's only a temporary prohibition, but people gotta eat anyway. Short of stealing a boat and causing a scene, 
Both us and our black robed friends are SOL. Shit out of luck, chat. Not every day we bring in this many fish. Hope tomorrow's haul is just as There is someone who's um a card player. It's interesting. Try the smoke seafood. Many, many years. Okay. We're recruiting for Woohoo! Tired old ranch owner. Oh that guy. Needs a replacement. I mean, it's still a pretty cozy place. This would be a fun spot to have a drink. What exciting ceremony, ceremony! It's an excuse for them to show off. Guess I better get a move on them. Someone just said Texas Roadhouse ass bar. I'll do that card battle at some point. Room for one. Help! Somebody, please! Help! Anybody, please! That sword. You're some kind of fighter, aren't you? That was Priscilla. And from the sound of it, she needs a tough guy like you to lend a hand. A tough guy like you. We gotta go! Now! There's a monster attacking the boat! Whoa! Did you see how fast they zoomed? This way! Tifa was like faster than light for a second. Please. Help! Somebody! Anybody! Help! Sorry, we, Yuffie, we can't help you. Um, we're, uh, we gotta play cards. Yuffie. people in chat or at least one person very confused about Yuffie's socks. Get attention. On it. Assess. I need an assessment here, buddy. Maybe it's wind. I got some Lightning. You can hear the, the Wu-Tai theme a little bit. Which I would imagine is uh, directly related to Yuffie being here. It's pretty neat. 
Reach the weak element and nothing else. Yeah, what do you want me to? What do you want me to do? I'm I'm stupid. I'll show you what I can do. The world is I think we're almost done. Uh, we need. We're not that close to being done here. Um. Hey, you ready? You and uh, the Spanner two ought to speed things up. Shit. Damn, that was a waste of a stagger. Get your ass out of here! The spell or two ought to speed things up! Gotta love Shiva? Oh man, again, if, if we had Ramu, that would be great. Yeah, we'll get Shiva. I've been dying to see you. First time seeing Shiva right now, I think. Well, Shiva was in in the in remake, right? Or no? Here goes. Can you take over? Oh, she was okay. What now? Oops! I pressed the button at the wrong time, and now the cutscene has menu elements. Watch the water. Shiva, just kind of, kind of be there. All right, remind me of someone. I guess, uh, just, yeah, just keep doing that. That's fine. Oh, man. Until next time. You jittery? Stop it! This game really is a best girl debate simulator, isn't it? It's on you. Always has been, yeah. At least with Final Fantasy IX, you know who it is. It's it's a uh, Quina or Quina. We'll get you out of there. That'll do. We need some heals. Good. <laughs> Good heal, man. Good heal. Fucking move. Nothing personal. Fuck yeah. 
Ooh, so satisfying. Oh no, you don't. Chat, it's going to happen. The thing you think is going to happen is going to happen. She's breathing. Hey, we need help over here. That was the end of the demo at uh, so Comic Con. Cool. Maybe someone should go find a doctor. There's no time. But it was again. It was like a little truncated. Somebody help! I need to get a breathing again. I don't even remember the CPR minigame. Don't just stand there, help me. You're on chest compressions. Got it. Cloud is always the one who has to do the thing. Now, start. Oh, good. You picked the wrong girl, creep. What? <sighs> Trying to save your life, dog. Those guys there are from the Splinter Cell. Splinter Cell? They used to be with Avalanche, but left after a policy dispute. Oh, we just saw this like a month ago. Easy. They're guests of mine. And this one was trying to save your life. He was? Ugh, nice going, Yuffie. Call the guy a creep, why don't ya? You big moron! If you saw someone okay, do that Yuffie. stuff in real life, you would you, would you like, would you worry about them? I think I might. I might. Thank you very much. I'd be like, no, no, no. I seriously, I think Yo, we need to worry about your health. <laughs> beat that guy. The kids these days, I swear. You didn't oh, get oxygen no. to your brain for like four minutes. Another one of my guests. I seem to get a lot of them when the world's on fire. She's a quirked up, um, warrior. <laughs> Monsters like that one have been cropping up more and more lately. Goddamn reactors to blame. Quirked up is one of those phrases that once you learn it, you would love to just forget that it ever existed. I say you, me. When I heard it, I wanted to forget a bit about its existence, but now... I, I will never know. Now the quirk, quirked up is, um... Also, the Quizat's Hatterack, right? Hey, you guys are that Avalanche Splinter Cell, right? Now, how the hell did you... I just gotta say, I'm a big, huge fan of yours. HQ wishes they could be as cool as you guys. <sighs> well, uh, we are pretty cool, but... Think we could sit down for a chat later? Got a teensy favor to ask. And gotta thank you for before. I suppose you could come by the inn tomorrow. So wait! You won't be sorry. Promise. Later. You is so cute. She ran like near to. Um. I know, I know. She laid it on pretty thick. But hey, she's just a kid. What's the harm in hearing her out? Maybe she wants your autograph. <laughs> <laughs> come on. Let's get ourselves some rooms. Barrett, you don't understand. We are injured from the fight, and the only thing that can help us now is sitting on this nice bench. Someone just said haters are just jealous because they aren't as free as her. Try the smoked seafood. 
You know who else is free? Chadley. And no one complains about Chadley. And he's so free. Free from Hojo's grasp. Free from love. <laughs> oh, man. Alright, Chad, thanks for watching. That was, uh, definitely a lot of fun. Next time I play, I'm probably gonna pre-record. I have a bunch of things we can do in the, the region. And then we could advance the plot into uh, Junon. Live on stream, probably. I would imagine that's what's gonna happen. Um, couple quick things i want to make a couple of quick announcements number one is i will be at pax i will be signing at pax and i have we little frog related like items to be giving away waters. they're cheap they're fun you might enjoy them at some point i'll show you a picture all right let's see so i'm gonna do today. a bunch of pre-records uh before pax which is i Believe think the weekend enough, of the 22nd and uh yeah so there's gonna be like a good chunk of time i won't be streaming I consider PAX to be like a nice little vacation for myself anyway, so I'm, I'm happy to do so. But there will be enough for Johnny to upload that uh, if you want to watch some stuff, whatever they may be, they'll be there. Will you go to PAX Australia? No. <laughs> Just PAX Boston. PAX East. But uh, yeah, so I'll be there. Stop by. If um, I have details about the signing, I will mention them. But right now, I don't have details. You could also probably just find out there. Is Joel going too? No, Joel's not going. Um, so yeah. I guess that's about it. That and uh, once again, Redvox merch is available. At uh, redvoxband.com. Hopefully the redirect works. So it was gone for a while and it is back. And uh, that's about it. So that's... Uh, just wanted to do my due diligence because I still see um, once in a while people are like, is the merch available again? And yeah, it's there. So uh, I guess I'm done. Good night. Thank you. I'm really enjoying this game, even just as a game. I'm not going to say it is a perfect video game or anything like that. And um, I can see some of the, the pacing being a turnoff for people used to the original or just wanting to get from one story thing to another but you know and the open world is is cool but there's a lot of it and there's some stuff with you know maybe some other things i'm sure people could come up with that said even if you take away the the final fantasy 7 veneer i think this is a solid game and if you combine some of the best parts of this with the best parts of final fantasy 16 I think you have a way forward for the series. Like a really le legitimately good new direction. So, not even that new, but yeah. It's good. Have you said that the this isn't the original, but it still exists, this stream? Um, no, you want me to? I did have uh, one person got upset about that. Well, there's always probably like 30 people, but I read a couple things about it. Like, what if you're looking forward to the thing, it comes out and it sucks? Doesn't that upset you? But, um... Yeah, I mean, that that's definitely the, the case for some things. And some remakes are poop, and you just don't play them. Secret of Mana remake was shit, and I just didn't play it. So, uh... Yeah. But, uh, I agree. Yeah, that could suck if the remake doesn't really live up to your expectations. Uh, but, yeah, the original still exists! You could play it! Alright, goodbye. <laughs>